Hello, welcome back. Here we are in our back lot. lot. And um, look, this is Charlie. She is such a fluffy bunny, Agnes. My goodness. We have the Easter bunny and Charlie the bunny and then two ducks and then Agnes. Two ducklings. Uh, I have two ducklings. I'm so glad you brought your friends down from <laughs> Alpine. I know it's quite a ways to come travel here. So thank you for coming. Oh, you're um, welcome. And Agnes, you have an important thing to let our viewers know about that you have going on at the Children's Nature Retreat because we want people to go out there and visit. <laughs> yes, this week, every day we have our Easter egg hunt mm -hmm. and um, at noon, and uh, we have the Easter Bunny that's going to give out the uh, baskets. <laughs> so make your reservations today until Sunday. And um, you can see those adorable ducklings that we yeah. just rescued. Oh, I and was going to um, ask you, where did these come from? Because I know you always rescue animals. They, uh, they keep coming. <laughs> they were, apparently they were both a tractor supply and then uh, disregarded. And then uh, the new family called us and asked us if we could take them. So oh. we have space in our barnyard. We have a big pond and uh, we have a big, uh, house for the ducks so hopefully they're gonna make friends with our ducks yeah and uh, uh, we're gonna get our family bigger oh you're a growing family I feel like you're constantly uh, you know bringing in more family members because yeah. you have such a big heart Agnes and the children's nature retreat for our viewers at home who have not been it is magical it's a beautiful space I can see why the animals are so happy Charlie of course happy at home <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Was Charlie also rescued too? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he, um, he was, uh, I think he came from the uh, animal control. Okay, I, like I a see. A few years ago. Oh, okay. And yeah, definitely very calm and used to people, I feel like, holding yes. her. Because, I mean, she's just in my arms, no problem. Yeah, our animals, our animal keepers, um, take uh, extremely good care of our animals and yeah. they are like very social you know all those guys they were pets so they are used to people and they love the interaction. So. Right. And sometimes, obviously, pets, some owners can't keep them, especially the larger animals. So, Agnes, tell us about those. You have quite a few, what, 200 animals there? We have, now we are like at 200 and actually nine with those okay. two guys. Wow. And uh, we have, uh, we just got an emu not too long ago. Yes, our friend the emu. <laughs> the Oscar the emu. <laughs> and uh, we rescued a uh, mom and a daddy pig. The mom was pregnant, so now we have. Have, uh, the babies we just got two baby goats uh, that were left as a prank in our central wow wow um, but then we have camels we have horses mm -hmm. goats right. llamas alpacas and very uh, rare animals too right we have zebras we have uh, we have a geep a geep, a yes. geep. <laughs> that's rare it's a half goat and a half sheep <laughs> Um, and a wazibu that doesn't exist either. It's a, a half watuzi and a half zibu. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing to see these animals. And, you know, they're so well taken care of, but that's because people are able to donate, hopefully. That's the, <laughs> yes. that's the goal, right? Because it costs a lot to take care of them and feed it, them. Yeah. Yeah, it cost, uh, we are at $1,500 a day. Wow. And uh, to care for them. You know, last month's uh, vet bill was $5,000 just for the Whoa. big animals, not counting the small animals. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's like, it takes a lot, but uh, people, if uh, they visit us, mm -hmm. uh, it helps us uh, greatly to, uh, to care for those animals. And of course, donations are always um, very, very valuable. Okay. I feel like I'm hogging Charlie. I want our viewers to look into Charlie's eyes. Such a sweetheart and so warm and cozy. Thank you for <laughs> being my jacket this morning. I mean, really, like to bring the kids out. I brought my daughter, our three-year-old, and she absolutely was in heaven there. So I do encourage our viewers at home, if you have little ones, if you don't have little ones, it's still so fun for all ages. It Easter is. Bunny will be there to take photos <laughs> and give baskets out. So look, do you see a resemblance between the two of them? A little bit. <laughs> One's teeth are a lot bigger than the other. <laughs> but we have to fun. file them. <laughs> yeah, we have to file yours down a little. Uh, but I do love that you're having an Easter egg hunt, and that's a good way to get everyone out there. We have 5,000 eggs this year. 5,000 all around. You all can go around. all throughout the retreat. That's amazing. Okay, Charlie, I'll put you down. Here we go. Nice and happy. There, you're, you're so good <laughs> and so big. <laughs> well fed, well taken care of, Charlie. Come here, girl. Um, and yeah, I mean, obviously, the Easter egg hunt is a way to get people 
people out there. And obviously the money goes to such a great cause. Yep. So when you book it, it is going to help these beautiful animals right here at a place that I do think we should all visit very frequently. Um, and uh, yes. <laughs> sorry, I got a little bit of this stuff on me. That's okay, it happens. That's the, what we do. So yeah, check out the Children's Nature Retreat in Alpine. You can visit Agnes's website too. It's a great one and on Instagram. And uh, make sure you support a great cause. We'll Thank be right you. back. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.